EUV technology did deliver on its precision promises, but it also brought an unexpected side effect, astronomical costs. A single EUV machine sells for over $200 million, equivalent to the price of a Boeing 787 aircraft. Even worse, EUV has extremely low photon utilization efficiency, requiring massive amounts of electricity to generate sufficient exposure doses. For chip manufacturers pursuing maximum profits, this means the marginal cost of producing each wafer is skyrocketing. Making matters worse, the chemically amplified resists used with EUV have poor absorption capabilities for EUV photons. This leads to a problem called stochastic variations. Simply put, the same circuit line will have random width fluctuations at different positions, forming rough, jagged edges. When line widths shrink below 20 nanometers, this problem causes serious pattern collapse and short circuit risks. This is when DSA re-entered people's field of vision. In 2024, both IMEC Research Institute and Intel released shocking experimental results almost simultaneously. By adding a layer of DSA material after EUV exposure, followed by 30 minutes of thermal annealing, they successfully healed the rough edges and defects in EUV patterns. More importantly, this post-processing technique allowed them to reduce EUV doses by 60% while actually improving pattern quality. Let's use specific numbers to understand the commercial value of this breakthrough. If a major chip fab produces 100,000 wafers per month, with each wafer costing $1,000 in EUV expenses, then a 60% cost savings means saving $60 million per month or $720 million per year. For companies like Intel and TSMC that own multiple advanced fabs, total savings could reach tens of billions of dollars. But DSA's value goes beyond this. With the rollout of next-generation high numerical aperture EUV equipment, resist layer thickness will become even thinner and pattern collapse risks will be higher. DSA's healing capabilities become even more critical in these situations. This explains why Intel calls DSA a key innovation for cost-effective scaling. However, from lab to large-scale mass production, DSA still faces significant challenges. No matter how advanced a technology is, if it can't be manufactured reliably at scale, it has no commercial value. For DSA to truly change the game, it still needs to overcome several key obstacles.